Hey guys, I'm here with my uh, ProLogix battery charger, the PL2320 model by Chlor Automotive. Uh, this is a really cool charger with a lot of features packed into one charger, and I'm going to go over those with you guys here. Um, it is a 6 and 12 volt uh, battery charger with user selectable 20, 10, and 2 amp settings. Now this is a fully automatic battery charger and maintainer. It can be left hooked up indefinitely if you so choose to use it for a battery maintaining features. It'll charge just about any 6 or 12 volt battery that you can get your hands on. It's made for your standard flooded batteries, AGM, gel cell, spiral wound, or marine and deep cycle. That 2 amp setting would be perfect for your smaller batteries such as uh, motorcycles or power sports, uh, 10 amps, perfect for charging your car batteries or truck batteries. And that 20 amp, that 20 amp setting is hard to find in a good charger. Uh, with a 20 amp setting you can charge batteries in the 200 amp hour range, no problem. Uh, even bigger if you don't mind waiting for the charger, um, may take a little longer for larger batteries than that. This battery charger also has some really cool features uh, such as a reconditioning mode, uh, for batteries that are uh, sulfated. If the battery charger detects any sulfation, it can actually help correct that with the charging algorithm. And this charger is also temperature compensated. I cannot tell you how hard it is to find a temperature compensated battery charger that will actually reduce the voltage if you're charging in a hot weather. Um, this charger is also very safe with uh, reverse polarity protection. Um, it has battery uh, fault detection so that it will not charge a uh, battery uh, that cannot be charged. As well as uh, the display you see here, we have a voltage display. Uh, you can see it's fairly accurate. Uh, I've noted that it actually gets more accurate as the voltage rises. Um, also display your approximate state of charge based on voltage. And uh, this charger will actually read a battery all the way down to one volt. Uh, if you so choose to charge a battery that has gone down to less than one volt, you can actually override the charger, which will not be able to detect it, and you can hold the charge button down for three seconds, and it will charge that battery. And if it's possible to be recovered, it will recover it. Now, this charger also has a really cool mode here that uh, I want to show you guys here. If you see here in the manual, Phase 6, the exercising mode. So once the battery is charged, it will actually apply a load to the battery, uh, such as simulating the start of a car, and it will reduce the voltage of the battery and then begin charging it again. Um, this is a 96 hour timered mode. Um, it will also activate if the voltage goes below a certain threshold. And uh, you can see here, I've got it hooked up to a, uh, a 58 uh, group size battery there with a uh, low voltage. Battery is only at 12.3 uh, volts right now. Charger defaults when you plug it in to 12 volt AGM 2 amps. Uh, you want to move the charger to the correct. Uh, this is a flooded, so the standard setting. I'm going to charge it at 10 amps and then uh, just hit the charge button. And as you can see, the charger is applying the correct amount of voltage. Um, some of your chargers will actually apply too much voltage. But I can tell you this is a very safe and quality charger. It will charge with the correct amount of voltage for the selected battery type that you so choose. It's also very quiet here. Um, this charger does have a built-in fan, but uh, it has yet to kick on. It's inside here. It's kind of cool in here. I can imagine if it was hotter outside, it would kick on. I charged uh, a different battery here at 20 amps, and I did not really detect the fan kick on at all. Some of the other cool things about this charger is we have rubber standoffs here on the feet so that you could actually sit this on the car, not worry about scratching the paint. We also have posts here for the battery clamps, so when you put it into storage, you don't have to worry about your clamps getting all smashed up that you would with other chargers that just uh, expect you to figure it out. Here you can see the box that we have here with some of the features on there.
and it's still charging there. Uh, you can see how much more accurate the meter is now that it's charging 14.6, 14.61 on the multimeter. Very, very good charger. Uh, nice and quiet too for some of you guys who are annoyed by the loud fans on other chargers. Kick it up to 20 amps. You can see it in action. Really nice charger here by uh, ProLogix and Chlor Automotive. Uh, I highly recommend this charger. If you're looking for a quality battery charger at a reasonable price, I'll put some links in the description to the charger. Um, really versatile. Um, Still there. See, some chargers would already be going over 16 volts. I had problems with another charger where it would it would quickly bring the battery up to 16 volts. It was just cooking the battery, but 14.62, it's about perfect. You can't ask for any better than that. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for viewing. If you need a good charger uh, for your car or anything else, uh, you know which one to buy now. Thanks.